America may be the land of the free, but when it comes to automobiles, it turns out there are some limits to just how much freedom you have. Yes, it may sound crazy, but thanks to pesky little things like safety regulations and import fees, there are some cars you just can't buy in the United States. Holden Ute SSV if you want to take a ride in the Holden Ute SSV, you'll have to head to the Outback because the Australian light truck isn't available in the United States, and you can blame chickens for that. See, way back in 1963, the United States got angry at France and Germany for imposing tariffs on chickens imported from America. In retaliation, they created what's known as the Chicken Tax, which is a whopping 25% tax on light trucks imported to the US. As a result, the Holden Ute SSV is just too cost prohibitive for the manufacturer to send them to America. Toyota Hilux Once upon a time, you could get a Toyota Hilux in America, but by 1995, it had been replaced domestically with the Tacoma, which is too bad because the Hilux is legendary for its ability to soak up punishment and keep on running, as vehicles regularly clock over 300,000 miles without trouble. Nowadays, though, if you want a Hilux, you'll have to travel overseas because North America is one of the places on Earth where you can't get one, along with India, Japan, and North and South Korea. Tata Nano there's a very good reason why the Tata Nano isn't available in the USA. It's a death trap. Receiving zero stars in NCAP safety tests, the 2009 Nano was billed as the world's cheapest car, not a slogan that'll inspire a lot of confidence. Intended to challenge popular two-wheeled vehicles like scooters, the Nano was originally priced at $2,500, but the terrible safety rating meant it sold poorly. An upgraded version is regularly rumored to be on the verge of release in the USA, but so far, Americans have been spared this rolling coffin. The car does have at least one fan in the US, though. And it's $2,700! It's amazing! Lada Niva First produced in 1977, the Lada Niva is a compact off-road vehicle halfway between a Volkswagen Rabbit and a Land Rover. One of Russia's best-selling export vehicles, the Niva continues to be manufactured and sold almost everywhere, except, of course, in the United States. As a result, the car has developed a bit of a cult following in America. And hey, if it's good enough for Vladimir Putin, it's good enough for the American public, right? Especially if you're into skateboarding. Toyota Century Royal If you want to truly ride in luxury, the Toyota Century Royal is the car for you, or it would be if anyone were allowed to buy them. Unfortunately for the common folk of America, the Century Royal is a special edition reserved only for the Japanese imperial household. Only four Century Royals were produced, at an estimated cost of roughly half a million dollars for the base model, and close to a million dollars each for vehicles upgraded with special safety enhancements. So in order to get one, all you need to do is be rich, move to Japan, and marry into royalty. Those boring old American cars don't seem quite so bad now, do they? Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.